I'm a famous movie star myself. <laughs> Share a joke with Jake. Well, I could lend you some feathers. And get in the game with Gloria. Come on, let's play. It's the place to be. Hooray! Under the umbrella tree. Right here on the Disney Channel. When the call goes out for help, <laughs> the rescuers soar into action. And here we go. Head out with Bernard and Bianca in their very first adventure. Great idea. They're racing to save a little girl from the evil Madame Medusa. Where is she? So hang on to your seats and get ready for the excitement. For the first time on television, it's Disney's The Rescuers. Wow-wee! Only on the Disney Channel. It's Rapid Fire Beat Mania with the Mickey Mouse Club on Hall of Fame Day, Monday. And don't miss the party's plumbing tips. And remember, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Meet your average American family. Who are you going out with right now? I'm currently available. <laughs> They're part of our new Monday night lineup, the Torkelsons. Do you ever wonder what could happen under... Under an umbrella tree. Hi, everybody. Welcome to a very special place where anything can happen with Gloria, Iggy, Jacob, and their good friend Holly. In your imagination, you'll find an invitation under the umbrella tree. Under the umbrella tree. Radio CXYZ, and here we are at the start of another Radio Robert show. A good, good day to everybody. The time is 10 15, and it's a beautiful day out there. I love the Radio Robert show. He's so funny. Yeah, and he plays really good music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he gets interesting people to talk to. But he's a really nice guy. Mm. He is. You know him, Hall? Uh huh. I once drew a big poster to tell people about his show. Wow, I didn't know that. Do you think we could meet him sometime? I guess so. When? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Sometime when I have the chance, I'll introduce you. Oh, today? Today? Well, why not? Hey! Radio Robert, I would like you to meet my three roommates. Aww. Iggy, Gloria, and huh. Jacob. So, how are you doing today? Fine, oh, good. Yeah. Well, hey, wait a minute. You can't you can't well, isn't that amazing the way that just happened? What a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> Polly, so when can we meet Radio Robert for real? Hey, listen, all my friends out there. You know, I really like to hear from you. So while I play some silver sounds, why don't you just pick up the old telephone and give me a beat? Get a pencil, he get a pen, get a piece us. of paper. Yeah. I'm Holly, this numbers. is our chance. Oh, chance for what? To meet Radio Robert. Oh, Quick, call him, Holly. Well, not now. Why, why not? not? Well, I don't know. He's Well, he's busy. He's on the air. He wants people to call. He said so. Yes. Do it for us, Holly. Yes. Please. Uh, please. But I... Please. 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 Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Oh, did you get that phone number? Yeah, here it is. I wrote it down. Oh, thanks, Iggy. Okay. Okay. This is so exciting. Oh, yeah. uh, Holly's going to talk to Radio Robert. Oh, I bet he's such a nice guy. we go. Ringing. Hello. Is this radio station CXYZ? Yes, could I please speak with Radio Robert? Thank you. You know, they may not even put me through if he's busy on... You will? Right, I'll wait. Thank yeah. you. They've gone to get him. 
So, uh, what do you want me to say? Well, oh, ask him, um, um, ask him, uh, well, how he's feeling. No, no, ask him how's the weather there. No, no, yeah, ask him when we can come down and meet him. Oh, that's, well, that's right. it. That's mm -hmm. a good idea. Uh, hello? Hello, Robert. It's Holly here. Hi. Just great. And how are you? Good. Listen, Robert, I have three of your biggest fans here with me, and they were wondering if they could possibly come down to the station and meet you in person. Now, I expect you're probably very busy, but... Yeah. You would? <gasps> they could? When? Uh, now! Uh, now would be great. You can. He said yes. Well, yes. that's terrific, Robert. <laughs> I'll send them straight along to you. Okay, and thanks so much. Right. Bye-bye. Hooray! <laughs> you can go down to the station and meet him now. Uh, you know where the station is? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, well, um... Have fun. Oh, oh thanks, thanks, Holly. Holly. Come on, guys. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. Oh. I just remembered. I've got to take the soccer ball back to the park. Oh. It's the only one they have. Oh. oh, why did I promise to take it back today? Well, oh. we'll go ahead and you can meet us at the radio station, uh -huh. okay? But hurry. hurry. All right. Well, tell him I'm coming. <laughs> Leave something for me to say. Okay. Oh. okay. Do I look all right, Holly? Yeah, what about me, Hall? You both look fine, but if you don't hurry up, it won't matter. Oh, right. Yeah. Come on, Jacob. Okay. We're going. Yeah, we're going. Bye. <laughs> Come on, Glor. Yes, sir, it's your old pal, Radio Robert, coming to you live from Radio CXYZ. And now, here's a record, one of my personal favorites. I think you're going to like it, too. Oh, good. I'm off the air. I can relax. Uh, there's somebody here to see you, Radio Robert. Uh, they say they're friends of Holly. Already? That was fast. Okay, send them in. Right. Uh, you can go in. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Hey, not so fast. Hi. Hi, Hi. I'm Jacob. <laughs> and I'm Gloria. Yeah, Iggy will be here in just a minute. He had to take the soccer ball back to the park. Uh-huh, he promised he'd do it today. Hey, 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 slow down. Take it easy. Relax. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, Mr. Radio Robert. Well, you see, we didn't want to miss anything. That a microphone? Oh, uh, are we? Um, are we? Uh, are, are we? we, are we um... uh, you mean, are you on the radio? Uh -huh. uh uh. You see, when that red light up there is flashing, then you're on the radio. Right now, radio listeners can only hear the music, not us. No, oh, huh. I knew that. We've never been in a radio station uh -uh. before. Uh -huh. So you're friends of Holly. Uh huh. Uh -huh. We're her roommates. Yep. No fooling. Out of sight. Uh, what did you say your names were? Uh, Jacob and, and Gloria. Uh, Jacob. I can say my own name. Oh, uh, sorry, Gloria. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great to meet you. Glad you could come. Oh, hold on just a second, please. Yes? Uh, we need you for a quick meeting, Radio Robert. Right, I'll put on a couple of more songs. Real quiet now. I'm going to talk on the radio live. And remember what happened? The red light goes on. Yeah, that means that the radio listeners at home can hear you. Hey, you're <laughs> smart. <laughs> I knew that. Jacob, what? Shh. Okay. Quiet, here goes. Pretty mellow, eh, listeners? Tell you what, I like that tune so much, I'm going to play a couple of more right in a row for your listening pleasure. So stop whatever you're doing, put your feet up, and cool out to some smooth sounds from Radio CXYZ! He really can talk. Yeah, and is he ever a nice guy? Okay, now, Jacob, Gloria, I've got to go out for a few minutes, but you guys stay right here, I'll be right back. Oh, oh, uh... And listen, whatever you do, don't touch this button or... The red, the red light, light will, will go, go on. on. Huh, no problemo. We'll be careful. Yep. Then I'm out of here. See ya. See ya. Wow. Look at all this neat stuff. <gasps> oh, at last. Hi, Iggy. Hi. Hey, where's Radio Robert? Well, he had to go somewhere for a minute. Oh, We're supposed ooh. to wait for him. Wow, this is a real radio station. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this where the show comes from? Uh-huh, and he sits right there. Yeah, and he, and he talks into that mic. Ha-ha, huh? <laughs> let me see how it feels to be like a real radio guy. Yeah. Testing, one, two. Oh. Testing, testing. No, that's not what they say. Huh? They go, hi, everybody out there in Radio Land, and welcome to CXYZ. We've got a dan 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 dandy one for you today. Yeah, wow, Gloria. Gloria. Yeah. Oh. Hey, let's play radio till Radio Robert gets back. Good oh, idea. Good idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Move over, Iggy. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, come on, leave some room for me, Gloria. Oh, that was my it. idea. Oh, come oh, on. Wait a second. Somebody's squishing my tail. It's Jacob. No, it isn't. Well, just let me pull it out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ouch. Oh, oh, well, sorry, Iggy. That's better. Okay, ready. 
Here goes. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? No, we need, like, uh, beginning kind of music. Oh, okay. yeah. Right. Jake, you and I can do that part. Okay, right. Da, 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 da. And now, here's Gloria. Huh? Thanks, Jake. It's good to be back. And we've got a couple of hours of happy be sounds heading your way. But first, let's get the latest report from our traffic helicopter. What, what traffic, traffic helicopter? helicopter. Jacob, make helicopter noise. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, okay. And now, we take you to the traffic helicopter. Come in, Chopper Iggy Iguana. Oh, uh, Chopper Iggy here, Glor. Well, it looks pretty good. It's a beautiful day. No sign of an accident anywhere. Thanks, Chopper. We'll report back to you every hour on the hour. I must be dreaming. And now, the sports report from our sports reporter, Jacob the Babe, Blue Jay. Oh, thanks, Glor. Well, it's been a big day in the big leagues and a little day in the little leagues. And here are the scores. Four to one, 16 to three, seven to five, and 106 to two in extra innings. Woo hoo hoo. That's today's sports report, folks, and over to you, Glor. Thanks, babe. Well, now, we're going to meet today's special guest, one of the biggest new names in pop music. Mm -hmm. He's keen and yeah. just a teen. With a new hit record album coming out all over the country, wow. it's my great pleasure to welcome none other than. Little Iggy Wiggy. Whoa! -ho. Hey, very glad, man. All very right. glad. And now let's listen to Little Iggy's new hit song. Little Iggy? What is going on here? Hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Johnson. Oh, it's on your radio, too, is it? No idea at all. Well, if you find out anything, let me know. Okay. Bye bye. Oh, what's your new song called, Little Iggy Wiggy? Hey, it's called My Roommate, Ollie. What? That's just great. So let's all give a listen to Little Iggy's new song, My Roommate, Holly. Oh, no, what now? Boom, chaka laka laka doo wah doo wah Boom, chaka laka laka doo wah doo wah I got a roommate, and her name is Hall. Boom, chaka laka laka doo wah doo wah For a grown-up person, she's pretty small. Boom, chaka laka laka doo wah doo wah She hangs strange things up on the wall. Boom, chaka laka laka doo wah doo wah She's absolutely terrible at playing baseball. Boom, chaka Thanks a lot. You know, I bet they don't even know what's going on down at the radio station. I better phone Radio Robert. <laughs> Gee, that was great. And remember, all you people out there in Radio Land, you heard it on Radio CXYZ first. First. <laughs> all right, now, it's coming up to our weather report time, uh, uh. so let's call in our weather person and get the forecast. How does it look out there today, Jakey? Oh, hey, thanks, Glor. Well, here's my weather forecast. Tomorrow, we will definitely have weather, whether we like it or not. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's funny. And probably the day after that, too. And what about the five-day forecast? Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, it's the phone. Oh. Uh, you think we should get it? Oh, uh -uh. no, they'll answer it back there. Uh. So now, how about that five-day forecast, Jake? Will we have weather next week, too? Oh, it's far too early to tell now, Glor. Well, thanks for that report, Jake. Okay. And we'll be getting back to you later. Uh, mm. Somebody got it, I guess. Mm. And now... Ah! Oh, no! That sounded like Radio Robert. Oh, no, it can't uh, be. Uh, it is. The light's on. What? Oh, no, this is impossible. Oh, uh -huh. uh, hi there. Radio Robert back again, all you good people. Sorry about that slight mix-up, but we're back on track now. And so for your listening pleasure, here's one of my favorite records on Radio CXYZ. What's the matter, Radio Robert? The matter? The matter? Yeah, is something wrong? You mean you don't know? Hmm? Know what? Well... Well, I guess we shouldn't have been playing in here, but... Playing? Well, they were just playing. I'm in big trouble. Uh, the station manager wants to talk to your radio, Robert. The station manager wants to talk to me? Oh, no, I knew it. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'm sorry, sir. I... I... What? You thought that last bit was charming? You liked them? 
Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I just happened to get the idea, sir. Thank you, sir. I will, sir. I think we better go now. Me too. Good idea. Wait, 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 wait. I, I uh... Yeah, I just wanted to thank you for coming. And any time you feel like dropping in and saying hello to the audience, well, come on down. The station manager thought you were great. Huh? <laughs> um, thank oh, you, Robert. Yeah. Come on, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Bye. Bye. We had a great time, yeah. and Radio Robert's really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Except that the Andy got a little bit mixed up. Yeah, <laughs> he thought we were on the radio, not him. Yeah. <laughs> weird, huh, Holly? Very weird. Mm -hmm. yeah. Almost yeah. as weird as something mm -hmm. I heard on the radio today. Oh, oh uh -huh. A song about a girl named Hall, oh. who, who wasn't very tall, uh -huh. and, and put strange things on the wall, and couldn't play baseball. Do uh what? -oh. Do what? Oh. What's that? We were just... <laughs> uh, you mean... Just playing. Yeah. Did you... You heard us? on Radio CXYZ. Oh! Actually, you were very good. We were? We huh? were. You were? Well, yeah. who was that? You like my song? You like my part? <laughs> and now stay tuned for part two of Under the Umbrella Tree. Okay, Jess, that's good. Very good. Just hold the fishing pole up a little higher. Good. Great. I won't be long now. Is, is that fish getting heavy? A little. Okay, well, just hang on. Almost done. Two more seconds and I will be... finished. Okay, let me take that fish for you. Thanks. You're welcome. Hey, we're home. Mm. The park was great. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, we even played on the swings. Oh, <laughs> look who's here. Hi, Jess. Hi. Yeah, hi, Jess. Hey, see, why do you have that raincoat on? It's not <laughs> raining. Is the roof leaking? Maybe we should get our raincoats, too. No, no, we haven't sprung a leak yet, have we, Jess? No. Jess is helping me with an art project by modeling different costumes for me. This raincoat is part of her fisherman's outfit. I even had a fish. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Hey, neat. Did you catch that fish yourself, Jesse? No. The fish was just a prop, something oh. for Jess to hold. I have a whole box of costumes and props over here for her to use. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Well, yeah. Jesse, what do you say we take off the raincoat and get ready for your next costume? Okay. Okay. Hmm. Let's What's the next outfit? Uh, well, let's see if you can guess. Oh, boy, I love guessing. Let's see. It sounds yeah. like some... Mm. It's white. Oh. That's right. Oh, a ghost. Yeah. Um. No, not a ghost. No. Oh. Wait until you see the props that go with it. Ah, Here, okay. Ah, uh, I know what you're supposed to be. Yeah. Me too. Me too. A doctor. A doctor, that's right. Now, um, what should she be doing? Well, she could listen to my heart with that stethos uh, that thing there. Stethoscope. Yes. That's a good idea. Okay, Jess, why don't you put the ends of that in your ears? And then put the other end on Iggy's chest. Ah. That okay. will be good. There okay. You go. okay. And Iggy, you should try to look sick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Even sicker than that, Ig. <laughs> you look sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks pretty sick, all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I think that's a little too sick. Uh, let's try something else. Hmm. All right. Well, I know Jess could look in my mouth with a little stick. Oh, the oh, little... Yeah. Oh, the tongue depressor. Yes, okay, that's a good idea. Uh, Go ahead, Jess. Now, why are you doing this anyway? Uh, pardon, Jacob? Uh, What? <laughs> Jacob, you sound funny. I, I beg your pardon, Jacob? Uh, Jacob, well, we don't know what you're saying. Um, <laughs> Jess, maybe you better take the tongue depressor out of his mouth <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> oh, thanks. Why are you doing all this anyway, Hall? You mean, why am I dressing Jess up in all these different outfits? Yes. It's for a children's book about jobs, to show all the different kinds of jobs there are. But, Holly, children don't have real jobs. They're too little. Yeah, kids just want to have fun. Well, sometimes it's fun to pretend you have a job. Well, that's right. And this book will show kids all the different things they might like to be when they grow up. Do you want to be a doctor when you grow up, Jess? Maybe. Of course, there are all different kinds of doctors, aren't there? Mm -hmm. There are foot doctors yeah. and animal doctors, uh -huh. um, dentists. Yeah, or a uh -huh. dog tour. A dog tour? Yeah, a person who looks after sick dogs. <laughs> 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 
Wait, I know one. another good joke. Huh? Where do you take a sick kangaroo? To the hospital. All right. Well, I think we've finished our doctor's sketch. Okay. Sure. Now, Jess, do you still have your other costume on underneath? Yes. Okay. Well, another go. costume? Underneath? What is it? Yes. Oh, it's a bathing suit. What are you, a swimmer? Partly. Here are your sunglasses, Jess. An Olympic swimmer? Oh, the fastest swimmer in the world? No, this swimmer doesn't run races. Jess, there's your sun hat and your towel and your lifesaver. I know. A lifeguard. A lifeguard throws a lifesaver to someone in the water who's in trouble. Right. I've seen lifeguards at the beach and at the pool. It's a very important job. Uh-huh. Making sure that everyone is swimming safely. Okay, now don't move, Jess. You look great. Oh, no, wait. Something's missing. Huh? That's right. What? Ooh, something important. What? Binoculars, so she can watch the swimmers at the beach. And a whistle, so that you can call the kids for swimming lessons. And most important of all, suntan lotion so she can work on her tan. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, you sure are drawing fast. Well, I'm just making some quick sketches while Jess is here. I'll finish these up later. So what's the next outfit? Oh, close your eyes and take a guess. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, this is fun. <laughs> I wonder what Jess will be next. Yeah, a plumber. A baker. A bus driver. You can look now. What's she supposed to be? Can't you guess? No. Um, oh. Well, let's huh. see what else we need. Um, oh, how about glasses, Jess? And, uh, let's see, I'm going to just tie your hair back. Uh, try to look as if you're thinking. Yeah, look serious. Oh, that looks too serious. Oh, yes, um, not quite so serious, Jess. Uh, don't frown. How about a nice smile? <laughs> <laughs> Is she a teacher? No, not a teacher. Gee, you make uh, great faces, Jess. Try ooh. looking mean. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Is she a witch? Yeah, a witch. Try looking really scary. No, Whoa. no. <laughs> not a witch. We need some props here. Let's see, a typewriter, and uh, there's some papers for you, Jess. Oh, and a pencil. You should have a pencil. Now where does she work? Ah, uh, in an office. Good. She's an office worker. That's right. Okay, now, Jess, you just do a little typing, and I'll start to sketch you. Oh, excuse me. I'll be right back. Oh, me too. Yeah, me three. Where are you going? I'll be right back, Paul. If she's an office person, she needs lots of mail. And a newspaper. And a telephone. Here, Jess, it's for you. Hello? <laughs> and you need lots and lots of lists of things to do. Uh huh. And a sandwich. Ooh. A sandwich? Yeah, of course. She's so busy working at her desk that she won't have time for a lunch break. Here, Jess, I made your favorite. Peanut butter and turnip. Oh. Peanut butter and turnip. <laughs> ah, just kidding, Jess. Really, it's peanut butter and honey. Try oh, it. Thank you. Mm. There, I have finished my office worker sketch. I like working in an office. I like the food. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, lots of people work in offices. That's right, like secretaries. Uh-huh, and phone answerers. Mm -hmm. They're usually called receptionists. Oh, and the people who tell other people what to do. Yeah, and the people who make up the poems. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Poems? Sure, poems, you know, like, uh, let's see. Uh, roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and I have green feet. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try the typewriter? Sure please? you can, Jacob. You go ahead. Come on, Jess. Your next outfit is in my room. What's the next outfit? Another surprise? Well, let's just see if you can guess. Come on, Jess. Ha! Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and flying's neat. Hey! <laughs> Good that's one. That's great, Jacob. Let me try. Yeah, okay. Um, roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and digging the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have another part for my poem. Let's see now. Uh, sugar is sweet, flying's neat, but when you crash in the street and you land in your seat, it's really not a treat. You wish you'd used your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I just made it up. <laughs> Here we are. Can you guess? She's a construction worker. Right. Maybe she's the driver of the bulldozer. Wouldn't that be fun, Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> now... I can't decide which prop to give Jess. She could have the clipboard and be the boss. 
Or she could have the hammer and be the carpenter. No, no, no way. She can't be a carpenter. Yes, she can. Uh-uh, Gloria. Yeah, she's a girl. Those are all jobs for big, strong men. Uh-huh, like us. Oh, brother. Uh, here, Holly, uh, let me carry that toolbox there. Oh, here you go, Rick. <laughs> Thank you very much. Iggy, are you all right? Yeah, I, I'm fine. I, I guess I'm not as strong as I thought I was. You know, there was a time when some people thought that some jobs were for men and some jobs were for women. But nowadays, anyone can try to be anything they like. Anything? Mm -hmm, anything that suits you or that you would like to do. Although I don't really think that a lizard would want to be a weightlifter. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. I don't think so either. But men and women can now choose to do any work they want. Right, Jeff? Right. What do you want to be when you grow up, Jeff? I want to be an astronaut and a mother and have 20 hundred children. Oh, wow. 20 hundred? <laughs> really? Wow. 20 hundred is a lot of children. A lot of children and a lot of work. Some mothers have jobs outside the home, too, don't they, Holly? Many mothers do, Gloria. Of course, I think that if you had 20 hundred children, you'd need to have someone to help you. Like a daycare? I went to a daycare when I was little. That's what I'd like to be when I grow up, a daycare teacher. Either that or a bulldozer driver. I'm going to be either a firefighter or um, uh, a librarian. Yeah, well, I want to be the guy who draws Super Salamander. <laughs> Super Salamander? Yeah, my favorite cartoon. Yeah. Ah. ah, Super Salamander. Yeah. Well, Jess, I would say that we're finished this sketch. Now it's time for your last costume and my personal favorite. Oh, oh, what is it? A deep sea diving outfit? A ballerina outfit? No. Where is it? Well, I have it right here. What do you think? Ooh, very colorful. Ooh, mm. this is a hard one. What is she? Do you want to tell them, Jess? Me, a musician. A musician? That's what I want to be. Well, a musician or a cartoon artist. Which do you think I should be, Hall? Well, I think you should choose something that you will really like and that you will want to work hard at. Yeah, and be, be the, the best, best you can, can be. be. Hmm. Right. You look great, Jess, but there's something missing. What? You need a song to sing. You can be who you want to be. You can do what you want to do. So who do you want to be when you grow up? Just between me and you. Let's pretend just a little bit. Pick a job you'll be happy with. And what do you want to do when you grow up? Ooh, it's all up to you. Jacob, what about you? I like to fly up in the sky above the clouds so very high. So I could be a captain of a plane. That'd hey, hey. Great. I like to travel everywhere. Feel the wind blow through my hair. So maybe someday I could drive a train. Gloria? I like to help my friends get better when they're sick or when it hurts. So I could be a doctor or a nurse. What about you, Jeff? I love to play and make believe. I love to sing, I love to read. And I'm not certain yet just what I'll be. It doesn't matter what you choose to do. As long as it's important to you. A plumber or a lifeguard or a keeper at the zoo. Or a baker or a firefighter too. Holly. You can be who you want to be. You can do what you want to do. So who do you want to be when you grow up? Just between me and you. Let's pretend just a little bit. Pick a job you'll be happy with. So what do you want to do when you grow up? It's all up to you. Have you decided what you want to do when you grow up, Jeff? Yes, I, I want to work in a toy store. Oh, now uh, that's a toy good store. Idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a nice, friendly place. Good hours, good pay. Yeah. I think it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. The best. Well, now, why do you think it's the best? Because then, then you, you get, get to play, play with, with all the toys. toys. <laughs> now, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> oh.